Hi, this is Sensei Jillian here from Code Ninjas, and today we are going to go over how to use the first five event blocks. These blocks are super useful in your projects because they can trigger any events or scripts. The first block is the When Green Flag Clicked block. You'll most likely be using this block in most of your projects. The block is very helpful in what happens when your game starts. For example, the background could change to a title screen, your sprite could move or talk, you could reset your variables, plus there are so many more possibilities. For example, I'll put that the cat will say hello when the flag is clicked to start the scene. The green flag is located right up here, so I'll press on it with my mouse cursor. Next block is this when key pressed block. You might notice you can click right here where it says space to reveal a long list of options. You can choose any letter or number or any arrow key, the space bar, or any, which means you can press any key on your keyboard and the code will activate. I'll keep it as a space bar and I'll make my sprite jump when I press the space key. I'll, put my, I'll pull my code for the jumping from my backpack. Don't worry about that code, but rather how pressing the space bar will make my sprite jump. See, so if I press the space bar, my sprite will jump and I can even do it multiple times. The next event block is the when this sprite clicked this means that whatever code under the block will go into action when I press on the sprite that has this code. I want my cat to switch colors when it's clicked, so I'll put this code in. Now when I press on my sprite, it changes color. The next event block is the when backdrop switches to. I can use the drop down menu to select which backdrop when I have multiple options. See, I have multiple costumes on my background. In order for this block to work, I need some code for my backdrop to switch. So for example, my background can switch back and forth when the sprite is clicked along with changing colors. So I'll put this next backdrop in. And now I want the cat to respond differently to each change. So I'll put two when backdrop switches to blocks in and have different responses under each for what the cat will say. And now I can try it out. Finally, the last block we'll go over today is this one. The first drop down for this block is loudness. This will check how loud you're talking and run the code according to that. You can change this number to however big or small you want it. Big numbers mean you need to be louder for the code to be triggered. The other option is timer. This could be helpful if you are using a timer, maybe for a game. So if I put the timer on to show, and I'll put the reset timer under when the flag is clicked so it starts at zero. Then I can do if the timer is over a certain number, my sprite can run some code. I'll do over five seconds, then I'll put change size by 20. So when the timer is over five, It changes size by 20. And that's all the blocks I'll be covering for this video. To recap, all these blocks are helpful in triggering any code you want in your future projects. So hopefully this will be helpful. Keep on coding.